Noswaith Arpab, Croesawi Colic Cambria, Supraise Wee Panaifa Colic. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Colic Cambria. My name's Supraise, I'm the principal at the college. It's my great pleasure to welcome you here this evening to our Further and Higher Education Student Awards Ceremony. Congratulations to everybody who's here this evening on your success, and also a big thank you to your family and friends and the college staff who've supported you along your journey. I just need to start with a bit of housekeeping. Uh, there's no fire alarm plan for this evening, so if you do hear an alarm sounding, please leave through the door that you came in and exit the building at the nearest exit. If you haven't already found them, the toilets are out the door to the left and just behind me, and there will be food and drinks served after the ceremony in our Yarl restaurant, which is just across the corridor. We're also posting on social media tonight, so please use the hashtag on the screen if you wish to um, message about the event as it continues. We're going to begin the evening by showing a brief video that summarizes some of our highlights of the college over the last year. Thank you. 
It's not such a short video when you see how much has gone into the year, I think, is it? So, um, Some of you may have seen some social media posts this evening to give a little clue as to our very special guest presenter. But if you haven't, I will start by giving you a few clues to her identity. She is a singer, dancer, choreographer, actress, and TV personality. She is featured as a dancer in many well-known Hollywood movies, including 13 Going on 30 and Starsky and Hutch. She won Celebrity MasterChef in 2015. She was a judge on the Sky TV dance competition, Got to Dance. And she's worked with one of our past students, Thomas Hughes Lloyd, who was a BBC Young Dancer of the Year finalist. Earlier this year, she also very bravely competed in Dancing on Ice. If I haven't given the biggest clue away yet, but if you haven't already guessed, I'm sure this clip will make it very clear. absolute honor and privilege to be here to speak with you today and already congratulations for all of you that have put in so much hard work to achieve such phenomenal um, things tonight. I can't wait to hand out some awards later. But before we do, I'd like to just give you a little bit of a chat. Throughout my life and my career, I have learned so many things that I feel at this point in your life could just be the building blocks to help you achieve the successes I know you must be dreaming of. And your school is phenomenal. Like your facilities are incredible. And I hope you know just how lucky you are to experience such an amazing school. I've just been in awe all day. So it's a pleasure to be here and thank you so much for having me. Now, can I get my little PowerPoint up there? I'm in. This is me. This is where it all started. I must have been about four years old here. So I grew up in middle America in Missouri as a little country girl. Um, and I loved watching the Olympics. I loved watching the gymnasts and the figure skaters, and I had big dreams to do something like that. I tried lots of different things like t-ball. Didn't work for me, I threw up on the field. Tried basketball, I kept getting knocked over. Um, but I realized when I got into the dance studio that something in that really made my heart sing. You know, I was one of those girls that was really shy. I was really introverted. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't have a whole lot of um, confidence. But there was something that happened when I walked into the studio where when I could learn choreography, when I could dance and jump and leap and turn, I could find confidence in what I could do rather than just what I looked like. And that felt quite special. And it's taken me to some pretty amazing things. Now, the three attributes that I've learned throughout my career, being a pussycat doll, winning MasterChef, doing all these amazing things, is number one, to be you. And we'll dive into what that means exactly. Sounds easy, but there's so much to unpack. Be fearless. Now, it's not the absence of fear. Of course, fear is there, but it's pushing through those fears. And to be authentic, very important. Now, to be you, nobody thinks or moves like you do. And it's a real exploration to understand just how your body moves, how you think, and to know that you are unique 
in the way that you move and think. And not everybody thinks and feels the way that you do. Even in those moments, especially at this time in your life, you might feel like everyone must feel this. You know, we're all on our different journeys of exploration into what that is. And it's important to have um, the ability to dive into just understanding exactly who you are, what you are, what you're made of, and what those dreams and ambitions just might look like. Get to know you and celebrate that. So I'm a Youth Sport Trust ambassador and I've been for five plus years. And I've had the most amazing experience talking with people like Baroness Susan Greenfield, who's a neuroscientist. Now her mom was a dancer and ended up uh, with dementia later in life. So she did a lot of studies on the brain and dance and movement. And what she was able to find um, well, first of all, between the ages of six to eight is when you decide how you feel about yourself and your body, and that lasts for the rest of your life, which I thought was pretty phenomenal and important because it's in those ages that you really have to build the building blocks of confidence. And if that didn't happen at that age, then however you're feeling now is probably related to some experiences or choices that you made at such a very young age. And you have to be able to go back to that, figure out where that came from so that you can fix that and find the confidence that you need to continue to do amazing things. The other thing I learned from Baroness Susan Greenfield is that your mind and your imagination is so important. So she did this this study with a room and a piano. The first uh, little thing that she did was have the person just sit in the room and she studied the brain waves as it was happening and see what would happen. Of course, they're not thinking anything, they're not doing anything, nothing's really happening in the brain. The next one she did was she put the same person in there to play a beautiful piece of music on the piano. And of course, the brain waves were all over the place, you know, just so much creation and sparks of imagination happening within that moment. The next time she did it, she had the person sit next to the piano, not play it, not do anything, but just think about playing that same piece of music. And when I saw the, the images of these brain waves, it was almost the exact same as it was when she was playing that piano. So it made me realize just how important our imagination is. So now when I go to teach dance, especially when I find the ones that are like me, that are the mo more shy, introverted humans, people, um, and when I see them kind of struggling to come outside of themselves, I play a little game and I help them become dragons. And when they're able to become a dragon, instead of just learning moves, they're starting to act like dragons and move like dragons. They become something that they are not. And therefore, being, being able to use that imagination, they're able to explore their emotions and their movement in a way they never could before. And what that does is bring them to feel inclusive within that exploration of themselves and of that moment. And that inclusion, I think, was just brilliant. Dream and believe. Know what your dreams are. By being you, you know, you have dreams. You have already achieved so much. That's what we're here to do today. And those dreams are important. Those are the building blocks of you having a beautiful, fulfilled life. And believe the only person you need to believe in you is you. Now, there's so many amazing supportive parents, people, teachers here that you have in your life, obviously, because everybody is here tonight. But in those moments of doubt, when you feel really lonely, I hope that you can remember that the biggest believer you need in you, of course, is you. Now, be fearless. This is a big one. Now, this isn't the absence of fear, of course, but it's the ability to practice moving through those fears to see what's on the other side being bold enough to face your fears. So for me, it all happened when I was a little girl in gymnastics class. Now I loved the Olympics, so I couldn't do figure skating. That was the big dream, but there was no ice in Missouri in the middle of America to practice on. So I wanted to start with gymnastics. And I went in trying to do my aerial cartwheel. Now aerial cartwheel is a cartwheel with no hands. And the biggest rule we had in our dance class was Never say I can't. Now, if you said can't, you had to do 10 push-ups. And at this point, I was getting so frustrated, running, trying to go for this aerial cartwheel, putting my hands down, falling out, getting frustrated, starting to those, feeling those tears starting to come out. And I was saying, can't, left, right, and center. I think by the end of that practice, I had to stay after and do about 70 push-ups. I did those push-ups. And I felt strong after that. 
not just in muscle, but in character. Because it meant that in that moment, I had to knock the can't right out of myself. And I came back and I might not have gotten that aerial cartwheel that day, that week, that month, not even that year. But I kept practicing, I kept staying determined. And of course, at some point, that aerial cartwheel came. Now that experience wasn't just about that aerial cartwheel. It was experience of the fact that every day I woke up, I pushed through the fears, I realized that it might not happen that day, but if I keep going, you can make amazing things happen. And that was the seed that planted me and made me ready to be, to be out there and experiencing the world. Now, always say, I'll try. Now, this is an important one because even in those moments of self-doubt, even when you're trying to do something over and over and it's not happening, you still have to believe in yourself enough to keep trying. It's easier said than done. But you do have to keep pushing forward and do your best. The only thing you can expect of yourself, the only thing others can expect of you is your best. Now, this can happen at any moment of these doubts that come in, but as long as you're doing your best on that day, could be a bit less than tomorrow, could be a bit more than yesterday, your best is all you can give. So, once upon a time, I had finished my career as a pussycat doll for that moment, and I was moving to the UK, ready for some new challenges, ready to take it on. And I decided to try the jump. Always had a love for Olympic sports. Really wanted to be an ice skater, but it didn't happen. So I figured maybe I would try some winter sports by doing the jump. It was the year of the Olympics. It was electric. It was in London. It was 2012. And it was amazing. And I saw the lineup had Sir Steve Redgrave on there. Five-time Olympic gold medalist. And that made me want to sign up. <laughs> so when I saw Sir Steve Redgrave in rehearsals on that very first day, very tall man, I tell you, I walked up to him and I said, are you Sir Steve Redgrave? He said, yes. And I said, I'm going to train just as hard as you. If you stay after, I'm staying after. If I can stay after an hour or two more, then I'm going to do it because I'm taking you down. He laughed at me, of course. But it was the mindset that allowed me to do things like the skeleton, <laughs> to put myself on a dish that was metal and send myself down a tunnel of ice. Why not? But the perseverance and the resilience to, to take Sir Steve Redgrave on meant that I was able to go 96 miles an hour down an icy tube on a metal plate. That was getting the speeds of Olympians. Um, and that made me feel pretty amazing. Now, Sir Steve Redgrave didn't end up taking me out of the competition, unfortunately. I was the last girl standing, but as we were doing the jump, I was giving it my best. I was going to go for it. The jump is really scary, I tell you. You get out there, you slide onto the bar, you have your big old skis, you get them in there. You can't see the end of it. It's just like you're flying into the deep abyss and you have no idea where the landing is going to be. So I went for it. And the whole time I'm saying, what are you doing? This is crazy. Don't do this. But my body is like, no, you said you would, so you have to. So there I was saying, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. No, don't. Oh, God, here we go. And there I was going down the jump, ready to give it my best. And I jumped as hard as I could, went flying as fast as I could, and tried to land as far as I could. I landed it. I thought I'd made it past the line. I, and I took down to the snow. Comes out, they'd moved the line where I was supposed to stay up on my skis a bit further. And I was knocked out of the competition as long as Sir Steve Redgrave stayed on his skis. So what did he do? He stood up and he just let his skis sort of fall off the end of it. No jump whatsoever, stayed on his feet and he ended up knocking me out of the competition. Hey ho, I learned a lot in that moment. Learned a lot about determination. You know, it was that, uh, that moment of being able to, you know, I, I, didn't I didn't really think I was gonna win the jump, but it was more about the determination to take somebody on like Sir Steve Redgrave, five time Olympic gold medalist and see what I was made of. See if I still had the tough stuff. So then I decided to do Don't Rock the Boat, another amazing challenge. We'd been in uh, lockdown for quite some time, three kids, you know, it was monotonous, the cleaning, the cooking, the trying to deal with everything and the, the schooling and everything. So I was really excited for a challenge again. Now, Don't Rock the Boat was rowing from the bottom of the country at St. Ives all the way up to the top. And uh, it was intense. We were rowing for two hours on, two hours off for up to 36 hours. So that was like rowing through the day, through the night, and into the next day. 
I've never had such uh, an experience where I've been faced with such resilience. And what I learned through that was that, you know, those first even 30 minutes on the oars, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. In those first 30 minutes, I was like, oh, I'm kind of done now. I've still got an hour and a half to go. How in the world am I going to do this for 36 hours into the night and morning? But I continued to. I never gave up because I didn't want to give up on myself. I also, you wrote with two people. So it was me and another Olympian, Denise Lewis. And there was no way I was going to let her down. And in not letting her down, I wasn't going to let myself down. So I would, I would tap into that resilience and just keep going. I would try and give it my best. When it got really tough, I kind of, you know, let it go a little bit. But I really dug in and I tapped into resilience. Being able to go further than your mind thinks that you can go. Because it's in those moments where you have a choice to give up or to keep going. And when you continually practice keeping going, that's when you're able to build the character attributes to find success. So there I was in the water. There's me and Denise Lewis at the bottom, Fleury smiling at the top. The red team ended up winning. But what I found that I won with was the fact that no matter what life brings you, you know, you can be at the highest of highs and enjoy that. But the lowest of lows, that's when you find what you're made of. And in those lowest of lows, I hope that you're able to remember resilience. Because those are the foundations and the building blocks of success. No great successes come without struggle. And the only way to push past those struggles is resilience. Now, <laughs> Dancing on Ice. Very excited about doing Dancing on Ice. It was a dream. All I wanted to do is be an ice skater as a kid. So why not try it as I'm turning 40? <sighs> it was hard. You know, like, I'm a dancer. There was expectations. If you're a dancer, strap on some skates, get on the ice. You should be amazing. It didn't really work that way. <laughs> those blades, those boots are heavy. It was scary. And trying to do the things that, you know, I was being asked to do and choreographed to do was intense. And, you know, I've got flexibility. I've got the legs. I've got the turns. I've got the kicks. But when it's happening on the ice, it's a whole different skill. And I found it to be really tough. But what I learned the most throughout this was on Dancing on Ice was it felt really good to be a student again, to just show up with an open mind and an open heart and learn and learn anything that they had to throw at me and be able to digest that and bring as much as my, of myself and everything that I've learned through my career to this experience to see just what I was made of, see if I could win the show of Dancing on Ice. And I felt that through that competition, I did really well, got to the semifinals, felt really good about it, felt like I was getting lots of points with the judges, felt like the scores were awesome. It made me keep coming back every week, wanting to have that fighter mentality to do more, do more, do more, do the inverted spinning split upside down. Not something that no celebrity on the show had ever done before. I felt like, oh, I'm winning. But in the end, I came third in the competition. And I think that what I came away from that with is that sometimes your best might not be good enough, but that's okay. That's okay because what I learned from the show felt so fulfilling within being a student again, trying your best, being fearless, and putting that into practice day after day after day. Because if you continue to put these things into practice, the determination, the resilience, the pushing through your fears, at some point it might just pay off. And it did on MasterChef. The MasterChef was so difficult. I mean, cooking's not hard, is it? But put yourself in a kitchen with all the cameras and lights and the timers and Greg and John and all the other competitors. I tell you, every time I lined up to go into that MasterChef kitchen, I thought I was going to lose my cookies because I could feel those nerves in my tummy. And every time I'd go to my little desk with all my foods and preps and knives and they would say go, I would pick up a knife and I would be shaking like a leaf, which I didn't expect of myself because like I'm used to high powered pressure, I've been touring around the world with the pussycat dolls, I'd done the jump, I'd done quite a few amazing experiences, but there I was all over again, felt like that little kid from Warrensburg, Missouri all over again, shaking like a leaf, having to push through those fears over and over and over again to get to the other side. And I was, I was in the middle of an hour or two hour cook thinking, you can't do this, you can't do this, there's no way, there's no way. But if I say can't, I'm going to have to give myself 10 push-ups and I can't do that right now because I only have an hour to finish. 
But I would keep going, just thinking, oh, you know, my goal was to get through the first episode. But then I would just take it day by day by day, and I'd get through another episode, and another episode, and another episode, and then I'd find myself in the final. And I could not believe it. And in the end, I thought there was no way that I would be able to beat Rylan Clark and Sam Nixon. Sam had been to college for cooking. He's incredible. Still to this day, I watch his cooking and food stuff on Instagram, trying to take tips and writing down recipes. But it was what I learned through dance and being you. Be fearless. Be authentic. Never say I can't. Push through it. Find your resilience. Stay determined. That I fought through it. And even though I might not have been the best cook on the show, Ultimately, because I was able to tap into those things and never give up on myself, I became the Master Chef champion. And I felt like I walked away learning so much. Be authentic. In learning all of these things, you do build the building blocks of who you are through experiences, through trying things, through being fearless. You know, you might know who you are right now, but tomorrow something might happen and your dreams might just alter and change a little bit. And you have to be able to find your way through that and manage your stresses, anxieties, depressions, all the things that go along with this crazy little life. <laughs> Because it can be overwhelming sometimes with all the, the dreams and ambitions we all have and the things that we want to conquer in this world. So being authentic to how you feel, being aware of how situations make your body and your mind feel is so important. By managing your emotional self, you give your, yourself the best chance possible at accomplishing your biggest dreams. For me, you know, shy, introverted girl from middle America trying to tour the world and make a new life for myself in the UK, those stresses and anxieties haven't gone away. You know, they're definitely a part of all of our lives. We've all lived with them, but how you manage them do. And for such high accelerators such as you, we're here to celebrate you and I can't wait to get to the awards. Those stresses and anxiety are going to be a big part of your life. And how you handle them is what's going to set you apart from everybody else. For me, I handle it through writing. I've got my essential oils. It's spending time in nature. It's talking to friends. It's finding ways to have enough of the habits that make you feel good to knock out the stuff that makes you feel bad. And taking the time to just settle. Let it, it's like the dust. Like if you have a jar of water and you put a load of dirt in it and you shake it up, it's going to look all dirty. It's going to be a muddy jar. But if you set that jar down just for a moment and let all that dirt settle, what happens that jar goes clear again. That's similar to your mind. And if you can be authentic to yourself and your emotional self and have awareness and be mindful enough to know what's going on in your head and take time enough for yourself to clear that, you'll give yourself your best chance to continue to be the phenomenal people and students that you are. Your health is your wealth, and it truly is. You know, there's been times in the Pussycat Dolls where it was overwhelming. There was never a time, like, we were all over the world all the time, either promoing, filming a video, um, doing awards shows, whatever it might be. There's no time to let that dust settle. And I realize that if you don't handle or understand those stresses and anxieties, then you're, it'll get you. It'll bite you. And all of a sudden I started having, you know, my body was sort of shutting down on me and things were happening because I didn't have the awareness of how to be me and how to handle those. But it was through that moment that I realized that you can overcome it. And by creating a wonderful relationship with that and knowing how to get yourself back to that place of cleardom and being able to move forward in that, that's when great things happen and you can sustain your brilliant life that you're that you've already begun. So get to know who you are and what you stand for. Be strong and brave enough to say no if you need to. This is a big one as well. So when I go into dance class and I teach, a huge part of sort of what I've had to push through is the fact that <clears throat> Dance is seen as something by everybody. Everybody has a different perspective of it. Um, but being able to own your space and being able to feel empowered enough to do as you will on stage as a pussycat doll, as a dancer, is incredibly empowering. Now, it's not just that practice for a performance, but it's that same practice in life. Because when you come up against something that doesn't feel like it aligns with your authentic self, 
Having the power enough to hold your own space, own your space, and feel good enough within your convictions of your authentic self to say no to those opportunities or situations that don't fulfill you is so hard, especially at a young age. So having the practice in your life to take care of your health as well as own your space enough and understand who you are enough to be authentic enough to say yes to what fuels you and no to what's going to hold you back. So be you, be fearless, be authentic. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. I hope that some of my experiences and the attributes I've learned that have helped me live an amazing, fulfilling life and given me the bravery to move a country away and create a wonderful life with three kids and many successes. The fact that I can continue to meet these challenges is all because I've learned of these amazing things from dance teachers, from experiences, from friends, from other artists. And I hope that today I could be that friend and that artist that might just plant some seeds that can help you find those successes and achieve the dreams in your life. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kimberly, for such an inspirational speech. You know, you've given us all a lot to think about tonight, and we're delighted to have you here this evening. I think it's take the glass half full, not the glass half empty approach. Rise to the challenge, and it'll have positive impacts on your on your health and your future, I think, is, is the message from Kimberly tonight, which is a fantastic message for all of us to take away. I would now like to welcome onto the stage our compa for this evening, Klinos Roberts, as we get on with the awards. Diolch Su, um, many thanks Su. Um, Noswetha Chigid, a Rwandan in Direchner Gobruya will now begin the awards. With the Gobra and Kalikavluina, Vessel Kavar with the Eyes, Mina Yalore and Wesan, a wedding in Guahal Chido de Suivan Vessel Group. So the awards will be presented by directorate. I'll call out the award winners' names first and then invite you to the stage in groups. So now we have the first category academic The first category this evening is academic studies. And these are the winners. Damare Nilwyr. Mavariwr y flwyddyn chwechyd glanau dyfrdwy. D-Side 6, Student of the Year, Sky Cooper. Mavariwr y flwyddyn chwechyd iawl, Yale 6, Student of the Year, Evie Hutala. Mavariwr y flwyddyn mynediad, Access Student of the Year, Bridey Benson. A myfyriwr y flwyddyn Addis Gewch, Higher Education Student of the Year, Charlotte Lee. Charlotte, unfortunately, can't be with us this evening. Felly, llongyfarchiadeg i chi gyd, many congratulations, and would you like to make your way to the stage to accept your award? She took my arm, I don't know how it happened, we took the floor and she said, oh, won't you give it back? My discotheque, Juliet, teenage dream I felt it in my chest, so she looked at me I knew we were bound to be together Bound to be together She took my arm I don't know how it happened We took the floor and she said Ymlaen Rwan at y Gwabre yn y Sefydliad Technoleg. The next category is the awards in the Institute of Technology. Felly, Myfyriwr y Flwyddyn Adeladu, Construction Student of the Year, Alan Jackson. Myfyriwr y Flwyddyn Perianeg, Engineering Student of the Year, Joe Williams. Myfyriwr y Flwyddyn Gwneithuro a Weldio, Fabrication and Welding Student of the Year, David Asrulus, who unfortunately can't be with us this evening. Myfyriwr y Flwyddyn Gwasneithau Adeladu, Building Services Student of the Year, Gemma Hines, and Gemma also can't be here tonight, unfortunately. Myfyriwr y Flwyddyn 
Trin Kerpadai, Motor Vehicle Student of the Year, Daniel Maidley. Mavurio Rebluidin Adeladwaith Technegol, Technical Construction Student of the Year, Carla Joyner. And last but not least, Mavurio Rebluidin Technoleg Digidol, Digital Technology Student of the Year, Conran Caffrey. Bethy, Sangobarchiadai, congratulations. Please make your way to the stage. <laughs> at in category Skiliai Bowid at the Skioi Dolion. Now on to our Life Skills and Adult Learning category. Mavuri Urebluidin Skiliai Sylvain, Foundation Skills Student of the Year, Harry Hallam Pradarch. Mavuri Urebluidin Galwedigaithol Level 1, Level 1 Vocational Student of the Year, Lewis Troman. Mavuri Urebluidin Skiliai Dysgiani Bynol, ILS Student of the Year, Kasper Votovic. Mavurio Rebluidin si wedi gwella fwya sgiliau Saesneg. Most Improved Student English Skills, James Griffiths. Mavurio Rebluidin si wedi gwella fwya sgiliau Mathemateg. Most Improved Student uh, for Math Skills, Amelia Bailey. Da iawn chi, well done, and please come up to the stage. Now a break from the awards, and we have a very special performance for you this evening from our performance arts learners who will perform a song from The Great Showman, and then Ethan, an A level student, will actually sing a number from the show Aladdin. So, please give them a very, very warm welcome.
Doithan in Wych Iawn was not wonderful. Um, thank you very, very much. They've all gone out now, but we'd like to thank them very much, I'm sure, for taking the time out this evening to perform. And thank you to our curriculum lead for Creative Industries, Jamie, in the front here, for organising all of this. <laughs> I might wait for Jamie to... Shall I wait for you to... <laughs> Shall I continue without you or do you want me to... Okay, fine, lovely, great. Felly mlaen rwan at ein category astudiaethau technegol. Now we move on to our technical studies category. Felly ddechreuni efo myfyriwr y flwyddyn tîr seiliadig llanau i'r gain. Northup Land-Based Student of the Year, Amy Ellis. Mafyrwyr y Blwyddyn Tîr Seliadig Llysfasi. Llysfasi Land-Based Student of the Year, Amelia Bailey, who's already been up here once tonight. Mafyrwyr y Blwyddyn Gofal Plant, Childcare Student of the Year, Alicia Carrington. A Mafyrwyr y Blwyddyn Twristiaeth, Tourism Student of the Year, Keely Eccles. Llangofarchiadechi, many congratulations. Please make your way to the stage for your awards. Now more from our technical studies category. Mavuriur of Luidin, Yechida Gobel Kamde Thassel, Health and Social Care Student of the Year, Karis Jenkins. Mavuriur of Luidin, Trin Gwast, Hairdressing Student of the Year, Shani Baker. Mavuriur of Luidin, Harduch, Beauty Student of the Year, Lucy Johnson. Mavuriur of Luidin, Lleti Garuch, Akarluya. Hospitality and Catering Student of the Year, Douglas Bather. And my very of Luithin, Gwasnitha Cahoydis, Uniformed Public Services Student of the Year, Nathan Prosser. Felly, da iawn chi, well done. Come up and get your awards. Technagol, and now for our final winners from our technical studies category. Mavuriur Abluidin Chwareon, Sports Student of the Year, Jacob Bryla. Mavuriur Abluidin Business, Business Student of the Year, Tara Threadgold. Mavuriur Abluidin Calva the Dai Performio, Performing Arts Student of the Year, Kellen Orton Jones. Mavuriur Abluidin Kelv Adelinio, Art and Design Student of the Year, Barath Kumaraguru, a Mavariur of Luithin, Kavrangai Achen Hurchi, Media and Production Student of the Year, Scott Parks, who unfortunately can't be with us this evening, 
And last but not least, Mavurur of Loidin, Blade Oriath, Floristry Student of the Year. I'm sure you've all noticed the fantastic flowers um, outside the hall this evening. And this student, Floristry Student of the Year, Helen Garner. Now, I've just realized I'm asking everybody to come up, but actually what we're really asking is for you to come down, isn't it, really? Yeah? So, can you come down, please, to come and collect your awards? Many Tonight's the night. Let's live it up. I got my money. Let's spin it up. Go out and smash it. Like, oh my God. Jump out that sofa. Let's get, get on. Oh. Category Olar Noson, Provia de Discur. Now we move on to our final category of the evening, Learner Experience. Bethy, Mavurio de Bluidin, Provia de Discur, Learner Experience Student of the Year, Gareth Price Lavelle. Mavurio, Mavurio de Bluidin, Camrai de Bluidin, Welsh Language Student of the Year, Mirain Gwyn, Naganan Fodis de Mirain Methibodama. Evani Heno, Miran, unfortunately, can't be with us this evening. Mavurio de Bluidin, Kasus Escolion, School Link Student of the Year, or Hannah Saha. And Mavurio de Bluidin, Chwareon Elitaid, Elite Sports Student of the Year, Ella Wall. Diane Chi, well done. Please come and collect your awards. I wish you Noson Beth Benag, um, I can say even here that he is a deal. He bowed, I'm not so more the honest. I know, um, we've uh drawing the evening now or this part of the evening to a close. Um, I'd like in the first instance to uh thank Kimberly for being with us this evening and uh giving us such an inspirational um speech and talk. Dear Marianne Kimberly. Many thanks to you, the students who've come up tonight to collect these prizes and to win those prizes and to your families for supporting you and also to the staff at the college at all sites for supporting you. I'd also like to thank the College Governors, some are present with us this evening. This evening's performers, um, which I know we all thoroughly enjoyed their performance this evening. Thank you for the, to the marketing team for making all the arrangements for organising this wonderful event. Diolch <laughs> Just 
Just a couple of things before you go. Um, mae yna ffotograffydd proffesiynol o gwmpas y lle a mae o'n dydyn ni lluniau a bydd y rhain ar gael i'w lawr lwytho o'n gwefan o ddi gwener ymlaen. So there's a professional photographer, he's going to be taking photos, you've already seen him taking photos, and these will be available to download from our website from Friday onwards. Um, there's certificates, mae yna ysgrifau, and you can actually collect your certificates, the winners can collect the certificates on the way out, they're on the table outside. So there's a buffet available for you now. I'm sure you've all been waiting for this buffet. Um, and the bar is open. Um, so this is a, a chance for you to socialize and celebrate together. Um, so we're quite happy for everybody to go now. Hold on a minute and leave and go and enjoy the food. However, before that, um, we'd like to welcome all the award winners to the front um, for a group photo. Yeah, so I'll show you a really sweet gift that loud. But dear Khamaria, I'm going to safe journey home.
I miss and reminisce on Missed out on Pissed I never went blue nose Never went Bagley's or four aces Their ghosts a grey bass note rumble Watched warehouse turn rubble Glass penthouse land on our field of dreams Our socials Our secret circle Bought doves and stacks Enshrining our own spirit of the dark in basements, valleys under forest canopies would tell all but who'd believe. It was five on the door, not four to the floor. Now the groove had a break, had a skip. Man was stepping out, stepping in trips. Still you can feel the tempo, one hit, then the next snap. Done, no best metro, known that son. Who said that it's the river that run for? Come find ball, let wear rain on them. On the real splash, water on the humble. No last ball, cause no curse. How you hang glide so like a bird, you by ball. Eyes so slippery, slides like low in the circle of highs. These doubles and keep their wise on the road. Doubles and speak our lies. All the fields from feet to side. Like press, but he compressed, hand a hot member. When at full, we're back in the tent. Better yet, at Sona, 06 footwork focus. Alias, Oak, Shepherd, Cabal, and the Ethiopian man alive. Wow. The sentimental things in life. The fresh from the sub base. If you can see my anti boy, don't face me. I don't wanna fuss and fight, just love and light. Wanna swear your night, give thanks to life. If you be tight, so gain insight. To the water rights, get peace in sight. Wanna feel no way, you be free for once. Come we go, no stunt, no front. Always oh, elected to come save my life. I don't want no fuss, no fight. I don't wanna fuss and fight, just love and light. Wanna swear your night, give thanks to life. You be tight, so gain insight. To the water rights, get peace in sight. Wanna feel no way, you be free for once. Come we go, no stunt, no front. Always oh, elected to come save my life. I don't want no fuss, no Watching sunrise stretch shadows, jaw on slap, eyelids on relax, or samba, sun, weird enough, back to my voice. Last standing, rolling deep. A cushion, a corner, anywhere to sleep. He still tapping to that broken beat. Heart still there, souls yours to keep. My ear could ring from this night till chords in harmony with Israfil come call we all to go. I look on my kindred and now know much more than one can twist with tongues. Yeah, you, my teeth. Okay then, guys, if you'd like to make your way to Yal Restaurant for a delicious buffet served by our wonderful student chefs. Um, and if you go there, our front of house team will sort you out. Thank you.